In this video, I'm going to show you how I turned the simple product shot into all these Facebook ads in minutes. But not only that, I will also show you how I was able to generate this amazing video for free. So are you ready? Let's get started. And by the way, I will be sharing with you all the important tips that I have learned while doing this. But not only that, I will also give you the exact prompts that I have used. If you want these prompts, just comment below prompt and I will send you the link. The first thing I did when I started to play around with this was to give ChatGPT some products as examples and a model or a creative to copy. Let's thank this brand because I'm using their products as an example in this video. So I've used their product shots and I asked ChatGPT to create the same exact image but with these products. And I have used this prompt. And as you can see, the result was amazing. This is a ready to use image that I can use everywhere on my email, even on social media, even on ads. So this was the first amazing result, but this wasn't actually where I wanted to go. I wanted to create realistic content. I wanted to create or to show someone using the product. And I knew that this is going to be a challenge. So I started playing around with ChatGPT and testing and trying different prompts. The prompt that you use is super important in order to get you the results that you want. So you want to make sure that you are using a good prompt if you are looking to create good images. Again, if you want the prompts that I have used in this video, just comment below prompt and I will send you the link. In here, I've done something slightly different. I gave ChatGPT an example, a creative that I want to copy. I gave it the product and some information about the product. And this was the result. First, ChatGPT asked me to confirm the copy. I should have been more cautious in here because there was so, many, so much text and this was reflected badly in here. But basically, I could have changed this and asked ChatGPT to include less text. But as you can see, the photo was not bad at all. I'm going to show you some different iterations that ChatGPT created with this model and with this example. So in here, as you can see, I'm still using the same base. And as you can see, each time ChatGPT is returning a very good result, a very good realistic image that's very comparable to my original model. And when I scroll down in here, you will see that I have did several iterations and I have changed so many things. And I know that if I continue changing, I would have reached the point or the image that I want. The next challenge that I wanted to achieve is again to create a realistic photo of the product of someone using this lipstick. So I played a lot with ChatGPT until I reached a very realistic image. And I'm going to show you the result because I was actually surprised that ChatGPT was able to pull something as realistic as this. So I have this very long prompt. I'm not gonna read it. Again, if you want it, just comment below and I will give it to you. And as you can see, this was my photo. I even asked ChatGPT to include a text similar to Instagram text. And I asked ChatGPT about the setup, how I want my model to look, everything. And this photo is actually amazing. It's super realistic. And I'm pretty sure like few weeks from now, ChatGPT will be able to even create better, more realistic images. But in my opinion, this is a very good image that I can directly use on Instagram or on any of my socials, even on my ads. And by the way, this is the same exact image that I have used to create my UGC video. So stick around if you want to know how I created that. Now I want to show you how I created Facebook ads images using only the product chart. So again, I have this prompt and in here, I wanted to take things a little bit further. I wanted to give ChatGPT the product link without giving any information, just allow ChatGPT to read the content of the product page and based on it, create ads. So I've given ChatGPT the content of the page, all the information, what I want. And this was the first image ad ChatGPT returned. It's not bad at all, but as you can see, it didn't actually use the exact product shot because I didn't upload it in here. So my next step was to upload the product shot and to ask ChatGPT to change a little bit the colors. And when you scroll down in here, you will see the next version of this ad. It's not bad at all, honestly. For sure, I can still improve it and I can still ask ChatGPT to change things in there, but I have learned something very important while I was doing this exercise. And it's actually something that I have known for a very long time, but putting it in practice is is always very important and it is the following whenever you want to create something and you want the results to be good it's better to give ChatGPT examples so i went to pinterest 
I grabbed some examples and I started giving ChatGPT examples to model after. So this was the first thing. I gave it the, pro the image and I told it to recreate this image for my product. Remember, I didn't give ChatGPT any information about the product. I just gave it the link of the product. So ChatGPT created this image, pulled the information of my website and gave me this amazing image. And actually it's fantastic. I can directly use it on an ad or on socials or on my product page, for example. And I did this again with this shot in here. And as you can see, this was the result. It's very nice and it respected my colors. As you can see, I was asking all the time for yellow background and it gave me the yellow background directly. Now I wanted to take things a little bit further and I wanted to create an image for all the product shades similar to this one. So I've included all the swatches from the RMS website and I've included the image and asked ChatGPT to copy the image. And this was the first result. For sure, it's not perfect, the products are not right, and so on. So I went back and I asked ChatGPT to respect my product shot, the exact dimensions of my product. And this was the result. So I rerun the prompt, gave ChatGPT all the information all at once, and here is the result. And I think it's very good. Uh, yes, it's still a little bit AI, it looks AI, but it's very good. I've asked for more changes, like about the hands, the background, and this was the final result. And I'm pretty sure if I continued working on this, I would have even better and better results. But all of this to me was okay. It was ChatGPT generating images. We've seen this before. It's nice, it's smart. It was all okay until I tried to create a video out of my image. Honestly, I didn't expect at all that this is going to actually work and that I will get a video that's super realistic and that I can directly use on my ads. It's very important to note that I didn't pay any dollar for this step. It was totally free. The only thing in here was that I needed to wait two hours in order for my video to generate because I was on a free plan. So the AI tool I use is called Kling AI. And Maybe you have heard about it before. It's a very amazing tool to create videos for anything. But what I've done in here that in my opinion was a little bit smarter than what I used to do before is that I've asked ChatGPT to generate a prompt, a detailed prompt for me to use for Kling AI in order to make sure that the video that I will get is a good video. So basically what I have done is that I went to ChatGPT and I asked ChatGPT to create a prompt for me that can turn this image into a video. But not only that, I told ChatGPT which AI tool I'm using. And ChatGPT returned a very good detailed prompt, even asked me about the details, how I want to finish the video and so on. And this was the final result. I copied this result and directly pasted it within Click. And after two hours, I had this amazing video. Well, could it be better? Definitely. Could it be more realistic? Also, definitely. But the result is by itself amazing. Imagine a few weeks from now, few months from now, when these AI tools are even smarter and smarter, the amount of ads that we can create within minutes. If you look at all of these ads that I have created and you just think about the amount of time we used to put in order to create things like these, or if you look at this video and you think about the amount of money we used to pay content creators to create videos for us, you would be amazed by the amount of money we are going to save and the amount of time we are going to save using these AI tools. And it's also super important to note that I didn't even use the latest Kling AI tool. I've used an old model, so I'm pretty sure I can still even get better results with a paid account. Creating images and videos for your Facebook and Instagram ads was never easier than today. So if you are still postponing running those campaigns and scaling your business and growing your business using ads, I highly recommend you to stop doing this. Using this video and the prompts that I have provided, you can generate amazing images for your products in seconds. And if you watch this tutorial on my YouTube channel, you will be able to learn how to set up your Facebook and Instagram ads campaigns step by step. So if you didn't start running ads yet, this is your sign to do so. 